a huge role in influencing their children. But what about the economic factor? What role does the economic factor play on the parents to influence the children? Oh my God, oh my God. You want me to go political this evening. Okay, so it is my position that the Nigerian parents are under a lot of stress. Exactly. You know, the unfortunate thing is that the Nigerian parent does not define this stress, so they don't know it is stress. It's, 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 it's an unspoken stress. It's an unaccountable, unaccounted stress. It's a stress that we are yet to take into consideration. And this is the problem. You see, the responsibility of raising children is a four-dimensional responsibility. There is no nation on earth where any meaningful nation, I mean, where the responsibility of raising children, looking after them, is totally on the shoulders of the family. There's not any meaningful nation. Number two, there's no, there's no family on earth who is powerful enough, equipped enough to bring out everything that God has deposited in children. There's no one family. You see, the greatest resources on earth is human resources. It does not finish. That is why inventions outlive the invent inventors. That's why families of those who have lived before are still benefiting from the intellectual property of their deceased family, their deceased patriarch or matriarch, because that is the power of human resources. Human resources is limitless, it does not finish. Now, that is the resources that have, there are four institutions that must be responsible in bringing out that resources in raising children. The first one is the family. And the duty of the family is very simple, to inculcate positive value system in children. That is the duty of the family. It is not the duty of the family to pay school fees, please. That's not the primary responsibility of the family. Or to take responsibility for health care, or to take responsibility for accommodation. That is not the primary responsibility of the family. The second institution is the community. In the community, you have the church. In the community, you have the international community. Sorry, in the community, you have the church, you have the mosque. In the community, you have the media, you have all of those people that are supposed to reinforce what the family is teaching. You have the school. The third arm is the government. That is the state. The state is supposed to provide social amenities. Since 2010, International Labour Organization has said the solution to child labour, for example, is social protection, provision of social amenities. Then you have the international community, which is supposed to uphold global standard when it comes to dealing with children. But what do we have in Africa? What do we have in Nigeria? The, the community is copatos, the uh, government is absent, then the international community behaves according to interest. International community is not anybody's friend. Mm. So the only institution that is doing the job of four institutions is the family. Mm. So the distraction is too much. Mm. Let me tell you something. For example, my twin brother has two children. Right? The first one is 13 years, who is going to become 14 in May 16. The second one is seven years old. My three brother is 51 years old. Now he's going to raise he's the, he's, he's, he's in the middle class. He's in the middle class. So he's raising those children. The firstborn is, is, is 14. Uh, he's 13 now. He's in SS1. By the time that one now, my two brother will be like 59. Now the seven year old is still there. So he's still going to raise that one also to the university level. By the time he finishes raising his children, he's already 65, his life has finished. It's, it's, it's at the departure land of life. The Nigerian parents are under extreme pressure. pressure. They are doing everything that government is supposed to do. So Nigerian children are not citizens of Nigeria. They are grand citizens. They are, they are the citizens of their parents because everything that their parents are supposed to do for them, the, the government is supposed to do for the them. The parents are sad to do it. it. Wow. Doing it. That are doing for them. Mm. So now, this is where it ties up to your question. Where it ties up is the fact that, so when parents are supposed to be inculcating positive value system in their children, they are, they are distracted they are by the economy. economy. They are value. distracted by school fees. They are distracted by house rent. They are distracted by health care. They are distracted by all of these things. And so when you are raising children in Nigeria, you are sentenced to the prison of parenting.